Good morning, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talk. So, have I got a video for you guys today? Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Hot Wheels. Now, this is one of the early things that I got into investing in, um, and I've got totes and totes and totes of them. Some of them are more rare than others, and some of them were just common cars back in the day. Um, a good friend of mine had asked me, he's actually helping, uh, he wanted to look through what I had and um, basically me to take a couple pictures and he's basically wondering um, you know what kind of treasure hunts these right here are treasure hunts for those of you that don't know he's kind of wondering what kind of cars I have um, and he was wondering if he could see some pictures I said I would send him some pictures and then I since I pulled them all out I said you know what I might as well just do a YouTube video and show everybody um, the Hot Wheel collection <laughs> it's kind of funny it is something that I've accumulated um, literally I started collecting these in 2000 I quit collecting them in 05 right around and they sat in storage forever well now some of my investments I'm looking at cashing in on some stuff and essentially getting rid of them and putting the money in other types of investments. Um, those of you that have been following the channel for a while know that I am big on coins right now. Um, silver coins, gold coins. I think silver is going to be the next huge windfall for investors. Um, any kind of silver coins. Um, coins in general have been going up. Um, but silver as an investment has not really been doing much. Same with gold. It has not really been killing it like it should be. Um, I'm thinking that's going to change pretty soon. If we go ahead and we do some more quantitative easing, um, that could make a big difference. Some people say, no, the government won't do that. We spent too much money on that the first time around, and Trump ain't like that. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, but we're going to find out pretty soon, I think, um, depending on how the economy does this year. Um, so I'm going to go through, I'm going to kind of show you guys some of the cars that I have, and, uh, talk to you guys and tell you some of the stories behind them please if you guys enjoy this video please hit the subscribe button hit that bell for notifications so you guys are up to date on other videos that we put out and most importantly leave me a comment i love reading y'all's comments um someone out there probably is big into collecting hot wheels they're gonna stumble across this video hopefully you'll subscribe um and we're gonna keep continuing to grow our channel if you are watching this for the first time um, check out our giveaway we are doing a 2500 subscriber giveaway for a rare quarter um, the quarters are selling on eBay right now as fast as they're going up on eBay they're selling at 50 bucks a, a piece um, some of them graded have sold for high high dollars um, there's not many out there graded I'm on the fence of having mine all graded but with that being said, um, check out that giveaway video. I will put a link in the description below, and uh, you guys can go check out that video. But for now, let's take a look at some of these cars. I'm going to start off with the treasure hunt cars, and then I'm going to go through some of these uh, more common but sets and uh, variations, and we'll check them out, guys. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is these are what they call treasure hunts. These are the kind of rarer cars. In the old days, they used to put one to a case. Um, now they've gotten a little bit tighter, to my understanding, with them. Um, these are what the collectors are looking for. I'm going to kind of go through them a little slow, and that way you can kind of see. Um, now, just like any kind of collectible, the condition of, ironically, the box or the cardboard or whatever the container that it's in is very important and plays a a large role um in the collection um so these i've actually have them all in cases this will protect the cardboard from getting bent in any way um i will be cashing out basically this whole collection very shortly um like i said and investing in a new collection of coins um, every day I'm looking at people's collections lately I've had a lot of people um, asking me about coins um, 
more and more people need money. People go into the pawn shops. I hate to say it. You sell anything, guys, at the pawn shops, you are essentially asking um, to... You're basically giving it to them if you sell it to them. I hate to say that. I don't mean to knock the pawn shops, but pawn shops, I know they are in business to make money. But essentially... Um, the markups that they have there are just insane. I've seen people sell stuff for 20 bucks only to go in later and see it for $75. Um, it, it's just crazy. So um, let me know, guys, if you see something here um, you just think is like super cool. If you got any stories to tell, leave me a comment. I love reading y'all's comments. Um, but. Okay, so I'm going to put these up and I'm going to go through some of the boxes and show you guys some of them. It is just kind of really neat to kind of see. And since, like I said, I had to pull them out to take some pictures, I'm going to basically use this video um, to send the link to some people that are into this type of collectible and essentially see what they think and, you know, what I might be able to sell off and what I might be stuck holding. Um, I'd like to get rid of them all as one big lot, but... So I'm going to get moving because I still have a ton of other cars to kind of show you guys. So, And this is just a box full of uh, basically the car holders. I'm sure now the plastics for these cars have gotten advanced. Um, new polyurethane probably and, and ultraviolet protection. And it's, it's getting – collectibles are truly getting crazy out there. So um, – but with that being said, I'm going to move on. So the next thing I have here is I was a huge James Bond fan when I was younger. Um, I've seen all the movies. And I really, you know, the new ones are more exciting. But you can't beat the old storylines. Um, these right here are basically their Johnny Lightnings. And it's kind of funny because some of them still have the price on there. And this is just a, a pure example of how prices are just going up like crazy. Uh, Two dollars, and that was on nine ten two thousand and two. So you think about how these cars now. I think they run about six bucks in the store um, for Johnny Lightning cars. Um, really cool James Bond set. Um, there's actually some extra ones in there too. I think. Oh, maybe not. Some of them look alike, but those two looked alike. And then over here, I got some Texaco. I don't know if this was an advertisement um, for Texaco oil, um, but basically, they're more cars. And they come with some sort of a CD inside of them. I don't know what the CD is, too. It's probably, you know, you know how it was in the old days. They. Had CDs for everything. Collect all five. I do have one complete set of five. I was just looking at it. Um, five different cars. So I'm going to move on. Okay, now I'm getting into the bolt cars, basically. These are small four-car sets and 30 six car sets um i'm gonna get a little closer and kind of zoom in so you guys can kind of see this is like super cool the amount of cars that i've had as i'm sitting here looking at them it it really does bring back memories um some of them have variations in the tires in the cars themselves i remember this car right here there's variation. I've got some in here. I don't know where they're at right now. Some have gold wheels and some have silver wheels, which is just kind of a neat little thing. I remember the motorcycles. You know, I used to love the motorcycles. Uh, these old four car sets, the monster truck sets. I remember this right here. This was part of a set, um, a, a large set of, I think it was 90, 97, year 97. Let's see if I can zoom out. Oh, 2001. This one was actually one that I had a hard time finding. I found it at like the very end. But little, little uh, gold carts are kind of cool. 
Oh, this one right here is cool too. These little Oscar Mayer vehicles. Little baloney the old days. Remember the baloney, baloney truck that went around? It's kind of cool. Baby Ruth candy bars. The little mini coops. The ice cream truck. Another Oscar Mayer one up here. Uh, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup one. Kind of went, that was one of the four car set with the Baby Ruth one. The Star Trek Enterprise. Kind of a cool. Got Milk. The milk truck. Back from the old days. I don't know why. A couple of the old, old ones have uh, price stickers on them. Um, I would never pay $5 back in the day for a car. Um, but I did buy out people's collections in bulk. And uh, so sometimes they were trying to resell, you know, due to collectible value back then. I don't know what they're worth now. So I've been out of the game just too long. And essentially when you're out of it too long, then... But let's move on. I'm going to change these cars out with the rest of this box right here and uh, pull these ones out and put these ones in. Okay, so this is the rest of that box. I'm going to kind of comb through it a little bit. The, this box was the first box that had the Johnny Lightnings and some other stuff. Um, there was 174 cars in this box. It's kind of cool that dragon car right there. Another Reese's peanut butter cup car. That means there's probably four of your candy candy sets in here. That's part of a 19. There's a lot of 98s and 97s and um, 96s in here. So these were basically my really old ones. Um, I have gotten rid of a lot. At one point, I had over 10,000 cars. Um, those of you that know, I'm a little bit OCD. Um, it, it's crazy. But I can't say that it was really a bad investment. Um, when I bought these, um, I got a pretty good deal on the whole bulk of them. Um, and then I really upped my collection in 2008. Um, I remember in 2001 during the dot-com bubble, a lot of people in the stock market got killed and people were selling collectibles kind of on the cheap. And uh, in 2008 when the stock market got killed um, and then we had the housing crisis and in my area we had a huge Navy base that went out of business. Uh, well, it closed down. Uh, it was on the 2008 chopping list. Um, and when they closed that base down, this area had houses um, essentially dirt cheap. I mean, a four-bedroom house, um, two bath, I ended up picking up for $29,000. Um, and that was what got me into real estate. And I really think we're going to see that again pretty soon. Um, I talk about that type of stuff sometimes on the channel. Um, because I do study economics um, and I don't think the economy is quite as good as they're saying I I love Trump to death <laughs> um, and if I was in his shoes I probably wouldn't say hey the economy is doing horrible because I don't want to panic people but I I think we could have a better economy but I still love the guy so it's not his fault that uh, people are just strapped down over in debt and strapped on cash so with that being said, um, this this box had uh, 174 cars in it. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next box. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start opening up the next box and show you guys what's in there. Okay, so this box right here, this is actually going to be one of my, I think, older boxes. A lot of these cars come from like the 96th time frame. Um, 95, 96, um, I'm not sure if there's a way to tell the exact year on the car, um, unless you are huge into this, um, it's, it's really grown as a collectible, 
over the years, more people are into it. Uh, the friend of mine that I'm actually making this video for, he showed me how some of the stuff that he looks for um, today and um, essentially it's, you know, collectibles, like I said, collectibles are just going crazy right now. Um, and when stuff gets at kind of crazy high, um, in my opinion, for me, that is a sign to get out. I was lucky enough to miss the dot-com bubble. I was lucky enough to miss the housing bubble. And essentially, uh, I kind of want to just be ready um, to make some money if the economy does tank. Um, I'm, I'm kind of, I know I'm talking about pol uh, economic stuff. It's just something that when I'm on camera, a lot of times I do talk about that stuff. I, I'm kind of not no expert anymore on cars. I wouldn't say I was really ever an expert on this stuff. Um, I was just a collector and I wanted to get every single one um, at the time. But... That being said, I am going to put these ones up and pull out the other half of the box. Okay, so this is the second half of the box. If you're watching this and you do know something about cars, something I'm curious about, um, you know, I keep my stuff in immaculate condition. Um, but something I've noticed is, you know, some cars I have a lot of duplicates of if they were something that was really a hot item back in the day, like this truck right here. Now, something I've noticed, this truck is the same as this. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if you noticed this yet, what I'm going to ask, but all six of them cars faded. Why is it that that specific car did not maintain the condition of all the rest? Is there something special about this car that made the plastic essentially change color and dinge like that? Um, like I said, I'm, I, all these cars were kept together. They clearly were not put side by side. What made certain cars dinge? other than other ones essentially so but we're gonna go through and we're gonna take a look at the rest of them it's kind of cool to uh, see this collection after all the years you know just having it stuck in storage um, I did empty out my storage unit I got tired of basically spending money on it and just moved it into my garage this way it would be close to me and more incentive to start going through some of this stuff and essentially selling some of it off. Stuff that's just sitting in storage, you know, now's, now's an opportunity, so. It's kind of cool because like some of the, you can tell some of like the Mercedes right here, this one. Um, you can tell some of these are really the old style cars back in the day. I mean, nowadays, I think they're probably mostly just made out of plastic. School buses, that was a pretty cool thing back in the day. We all loved school buses, the people that collected. We loved the ice cream trucks. We loved the mini gold carts. Look at that little toilet seat car. These these little bikes right there that was kind of a popular, and there it is that my Ford forty my forties Ford truck. I don't know why that car faded. It'd be really nice to have one now that didn't fade. Um, that way it would kind of clear up the question of why does it fade. So with that being said, it's a pretty cool uh, pretty cool set. So this box right here held 211 cars in it and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put them all back in that box but that's 211 cars. I am going to wrap this video up and I will do a second video on the other two boxes. Um, basically a part two to the video because this video is going to run 20 minutes. Um, 
I kind of like to keep my watch time high so in order to do that if the videos get too long people won't really want to watch them all the way through once commercials start coming up they don't really want to sit through the commercials so they basically turn it off and move on um, so I'm gonna if you really were super interested in this um, check out the part two to this video um, it'll be up this evening or tomorrow sometime um, with Easter about ready to be here um, happy Easter to you guys I'm sure I'll have a couple other videos up this evening and tomorrow but if you're watching this video and you're not going to be on YouTube this weekend uh, I thank you all for watching and subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button um, and happy Easter guys enjoy the weekend with your family um, you don't know how long everybody's going to be here so it is important to spend time with your family during the holidays you guys take care and thank you for watching and have a great night. Bye-bye.